Okay, so let's look at circular functions. Now we know that a function is a line on a graph. So for example, if I was to draw a line, this orange line would be y equals x. So it's like a straight line function. Now, when we're looking at circular functions, they're a bit more complicated. So this equation here, x minus y minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared is the general form of a circular function. So if we look at this uh, Cartesian plane here with our x and our y, we have got a circle in the middle. So let's just first look at what each of these things uh, mean. So your x and your y are your x and your y. So that's as normal. But now our a, so our a here is the center of the circle, the x value of the center of the circle. So in other words, I, would, I could say that if I had a point for the center of the circle, the x value would be a from that, based on that equation. And the y value would be this b. So that's, that's the first thing. So when we look at this here, this, if, I, if I know that the center of the circle is in the middle, that means my a is zero and my uh, b is also zero. So this is a basic, the most basic circular equation where both of the A and the B are zero. And so the center of the circle is zero. So uh, this equation here would start to look like something like this. So because the A is zero, it would just be X squared. And because the B is zero, it would just be Y squared. equals, and then we're going to go with what R, R is. But if I was to do a center of a circle here, and say I was to do something over here, this would have a different A or B, right? So say this was uh, three and three, the center of the circle, then my A is three and my B is three. And so when I wrote, draw out my function, I would have different values. But for now, let's just do the basic one where my center of the circle is zero, zero. And so I would just have X plus Y squared equals. Now the R, this value here, the R is the radius of the circle. The radius. So the radius would be the same anyway. So if this was five, then this would be five. And so anywhere I looked, my R would be five. And so I could just put in five squared and so the equation of this circle here is x squared plus y squared equals five squared okay so we got the because the a was zero so let's just do so a was zero in purple then my x was just by itself it didn't have anything with it the y center was also zero, so it just has y squared. And then my radius is five squared. And so we can now see how we would write the equation of a circle out if we were given various things. So let's say that I was given another, another circle here. Yeah, let's use this thing here. And I was told the center of the circle here was what this looks like. X is about, say, seven. And my Y value looks like about six, let's say, just approximately. Now, I haven't been given the radius, um, but for this uh, question, I am actually gonna say, let's give the radius of the circle as two. As, mm, yeah, let's make it two. 
So I should actually write out the equation of the circle. So how would I do it? So the first bit is just the, ye the yellow bit is the X, right? So that's X. But now A is the center of the circle, the X value. So I can see the X value of the center is seven, right? So I got the seven from there. Okay, so using my highlighter, I get the X value is always yellow, that yellow, it's always X. Then the center of the circle, that's seven over there, right? So that's orange. Now I can say plus, And then it's going to be Y because it's green. So that's the green bit there. And then I'll say minus. And what's the Y value at the center? Well, that's six. So then I could say six. And so the Y I got because of the blue. Yeah. So the Y is the B equals and then it's going to be the radius squared which is two okay so i get right equals two squared so that i get because i know my radius r is two okay so that is the circular function the general format now uh, i'm going to stop the recording there and we can go into specific examples but when you're given x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared, we now know that the a and b are the center of the circle and the r is the radius.